Interactions are a great tool to keep your users engaged with your content. They enable you to shift your users' focus to the most important portions while still allowing them to uncover even more information if they so choose. To follow along with this lesson, go ahead and upload the BuildAlong experience to your account. As you can see in this final experience, we're building off our previously created experience with a few additional sections added in. The main callouts here are the down arrow is now clickable, and we've made some basic hover and click interactions to the later section. So let's get started by making the arrow drive users to the next section. In longer scrolling pieces, sections are created by using the anchor tool in the toolbar. Let's place an anchor right above the second section of content. The blue line represents the top of the user's screen. Now that we have the anchor designated, we need to set up the action to drive users to it. Let's first select the Hotspot tool and then create a hotspot over top of the arrow icon. With the hotspot still selected, navigate to the Interact tab and click on the plus icon to add a new interaction. Let's select Click in this case and move to the action we want to apply. Throughout the rest of our intermediate and advanced lessons, we'll explore each interaction in more depth. But here's a brief overview. The Links section will allow you to navigate to different pages or positions in your experience or navigate to an external URL. The Visibility section allows you to show or hide different objects or pages in your experience based on a user's action. The Group-based Visibility section allows you to create more advanced interactions and carousels of content. We have an entire lesson dedicated to this, so be sure to check it out. The Z Position section allows you to rearrange or reset the position of objects. And finally, there are some standard social sharing options for various networks. So, back to our arrow hotspot. Let's use the scroll to position action here and choose the first anchor we placed on the canvas as our target. Checking out the preview of the experience, you'll see that when we click on the arrow, our screen automatically scrolls us down to the following section. In the next video, we'll create a hover and click interaction and explain how to add object states to assets in an experience.